Hey gang, Mr. Bradley here. In this video I'm going to cover least common multiple or LCM and I've already showed how to do that using division ladders but now I'm going to show how to use the prime factorization method. Now for those of you that know about LCM already the division ladder is really the easiest method to do but that only works when you're dealing with two numbers. So we're going to use the prime factorization method for finding the LCM of three or more numbers. This method will always work. Um, it'll even work for two numbers, but the division ladder is way easier. So for prime factorization method, we're going to use that for three or more numbers. And remember, three to the tree. Because when we're doing prime factorization, we're going to be doing factor trees to find the prime factorizations of three numbers. So here I have the numbers 4, 6, and 15. Now I'm looking for the lowest common multiple of all three of these numbers. In order to do this, I'm going to find the prime factorization of each one. Starting with 4, so I'm going to do my factor tree. 4 gets broken into 2 and 2, those are both prime. 6 gets broken into 2 times 3, those are both prime. And 15 gets broken into 5 and 3, and those are both prime. Once you do the factor trees for all the numbers and you finish those, then you can list the numbers on top of each other. 4, 6, 15, just like this and then list their prime factorizations right next to them. So 4 was 2 times 2, and then 6 was 2 times 3, and then 15 was 3 times 5. So, so far I've done my factor trees and I've listed their prime factorizations. Now, this is how you're going to find the LCM using these prime factorizations. First, start with the lowest number, which is 2. 2 is the lowest number listed out of all of these numbers. Then, see which number has the most 2's in its prime factorization. 4 has the most 2's. It has 2 of them. 6 has a 2, but there's only 1. So, I'm not going to use that. I'm gonna, you're going to use whatever has the most. Then, go to the next number, 3. Now, I have 2 numbers that have a 3, so it doesn't really matter. The most 3's listed in any number is 1, 3. I'll just get rid of the other one. So at most there's two twos listed, at most there's one three listed, and at most there's also one five listed. What you do next is you take all of these, the two twos that I circled, the three, and the five, and you multiply all of these together and you'll get your LCM. Now, you can multiply them any order you want. Anytime I see a two and a five, I like to multiply those because that's ten. And then two and three is six and 6 times 10 is 60, so the LCM is 60. Now that may seem like a lot of work, but it's way, way less work than listing the multiples of these numbers until I got to 60 on all of them. I'm going to go through a couple other examples. Um, in this example, I've already done my factor trees. I have 12, 15, and 18. I've already broken them down into their prime factors, so I'm going to list their prime factorizations now. So starting with 12, that's 2. Actually, let me use, switch back to black. Stand by. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And then 15 is 3 times 5 and 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. And I got that from these factor trees here, 2, 3, 3, 3, 5. So if you don't know how to do this, you want to check out the video on prime factorization that I have. Now, once you have the prime factorizations listed for each number, again, start with the lowest number listed, which is 2, and look for whichever number has the most 2s. In this case, it's 12. 12 has two 2s. I'm going to get rid of this other one. So that's 2 times 2, that's part of it. And then I'm going to look and see which one has the most 3's. 18 has 2 of them. So I'm going to take both of those and then cross off the other ones that I'm not using. And then the most 5's is just 1. So now all I have to do is multiply all of these factors together. So again, I see a 2 and a 5. I like to go after those first. 2 times 5 is 10, and then that leaves me the 2 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, and then 18 times 10 is 180. So the LCM here 
is 180. Wow. I can't imagine listing the multiples of 18, 15, and 12 until I got up to 180 on all three. So this is a really good method to, to use. Again, you're looking for the most that show up in these lists. The last one I'm going to show you, <clears throat> these are bigger. So here I have 24, 32, and 40. Again, I've already done their factor trees for them and actually I've already listed their prime factorizations. So now again, I'm, I'm going to look to see who has the most of each. Lowest number is 2, this one has 3, this one has 5, this one has 3. So obviously the 5 is the winner. That's got the most 2 so I can cross off all the other 2's that I'm not using. And then the most 3's is just 1, the 24 has a 3. And also the most 5's is 5. Now this one's special because I'm going to do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's a lot. There's 5 of them. I must wrote a 5. And then times 3 and times 5. Now here's why this one is special. If you look at 32, I've only listed 2's. In fact, that's the entire prime factorization. So I don't need to do the math to know that all of these 2's when multiplied together will equal this number again. That's how I got it in the first place. I broke, I divided it down into just its prime parts. So if I multiply all of them back together, I'll get the 32. So if I just take all of these numbers, that's 32. And then if I look, the only other numbers are left are the 3 times 5, that's 15. And then I can multiply 32 times 15 to find my least common multiple. So I'll go over here, 32, 15, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 16, add my 0, and then 1 times 32 is 32, and then 0, 8, 4. It's 480, so the LCM equals 480. There we go. 480, I found the LCM of 24, 32, and 40 pretty quickly. So this is a great method to use for three numbers, even though the division ladder is a better method when you're doing only two numbers. For three, you can't fail with the tree. Good luck.